Good evening and welcome to the side of Carter Sheds. So from that rambling on, it's clear as mud as to what the plan for the shed extension is, right? Well, the first thing I need is a base. So we've got the OSB cut to size and then we've got four bearers and then just using some of this uh, cheap damp proof membrane stuff. I don't know if it'll do anything, but it's better than nothing having it on the bearers to stop them sitting in water. The pipe sitting through the slabs is going to carry the SWA single wire armour from the main consumer box in the house out and into the shed extension so I can have the, the electrics finally run out here. So instead of measuring I can just place an offcut of the bearer up against the pipe and then I've got an offcut of the pipe, put that in place on the base and that will be my exact spot for the hole. I use a hole saw to take out a good chunk of it and then I'll just finish it off with the jigsaw. And of course, if you haven't seen the video with the quick connectors for my power tools, I'll put a link up above. Now we can see if I got it right or not. That's the uh, rope I've got sitting through the conduit ready to pull the SWA through to the house. And yeah, no issues, slotted in perfectly. So now that I've got the base, we can get on with the first side. Get the first side made up, nice and easy, again just cutting it all down the side. I could put the I cut the the tops and the bottoms for both sides, but I don't know the length of the second side at this point, so the two long pieces are cut to the right size for this side. Once we get this side up, we can get the measurements for the second side from that point. So I had some of this breathable membrane left over from when I did the main shed. So May as well use it up, there wasn't enough to do the whole lot, but used what I had. Just get secured in place with some um, staples. Now, on the inside of this wall, you didn't see it there, but I added in another cross beam at 1200. And that was done because the insulation battens are 1200 in height. So 1200 up and the batten will just fit in there perfectly. Now the bottom of the panel has got a, a lip, uh, but this top of the panel here, I'm just cutting it flush with the track saw. And there you can see the lip, and it just helps me guide it into place on the base. I can make sure the wall's level, and then I can get it secured to the main shed. You can see that uh, batten that's 1200 up, and the width of the insulation has actually dictated the width of this shed extension. That is just the size of the insulation batten so I didn't want to mess around with a little bit extra a little bit less that is the width and that's what's dictated that so now I've got the angle that the original shed roof takes so I can mark it up and cut, cut the angle on this I don't know what you would call it bearer uh, top plate I don't know um, and then this is me getting the measurement for the second side up to that point and that'll allow the shed extension to have the same um, gradient on the roof as the original. Second one, again, the same as the first. You've got 1200 batten up and just a little bit shorter than the first one. Slots in, screws in. Then I can turn my attention to the front of the shed. So the top plate in here. I actually put this in here, um, but it came out and then went back in afterwards. Um, yeah, skipped ahead a bit, but, but that top frame, the, the level piece was put in first so I could screw down onto the, the side pieces and then that top section was put back in. And then the roof gets slid on and then I've jumped ahead a bit again here because I've put the felt on. I hadn't got any footage of the felt being put on the roof. Um, and then it's a case of cladding this front part of the shed up the big gap on the left closest to me is where the door is going to be and then they'll just be clad in on that section to the right so now it's the final piece of cladding to go onto the shed just needs notched out so we'll mark it up use the jigsaw and the track saw to cut it out and then we can get it screwed in place 
So I tried really hard to get the exact same cladding that is on the main shed. I contacted the supplier where I got the shed from. They couldn't give me any. I hunted high and low for the dimensions, but just couldn't find one that was exactly the same. So the one I ended up getting, I think it's maybe a millimeter thinner and the height of it, I think is three or four mil um, shorter than the original cladding. So that's why I've not um, been too fussy about lining it up and keeping it continuous with the original. But this is it, just getting that last piece screwed in. Then I can hang the door, a lot of fettling to get it where it needed to be. Uh, quite a frustrating job, but it's it's in place. It's not fantastic, but it's, uh, it's going to do the job. So here I've brought the first trim piece for the door into place. I use a combination square to make sure it's in the right place. And I use that combination square down the length of it to make sure it's all where it needs to be. I bring in the top piece, make sure my miter joint is good, and then get it secured in place. Jumped ahead a bit here now. We've got the lick of paint on. We've got the trim pieces on and the door furniture. And I can get the final trim pieces secured in place with the brad nailer now. So that's the insulation I'm using. As I say, the slabs are the size. There's some expanding foam that's not shown here in the little gaps for tongue and groove. And it's all nicely sealed up now. Just finishing off the shed adding guys and if you want also want to have a look at my channel it's I love his adventures I have two videos so far okay final bits get the gutter on and the only thing left to do which is not in the video would be cladding the inside prior to the electrician coming thanks for watching and good evening You join us with the giant Scottish slug in its non-natural habitat of a plastic gutter pipe. Slug! Hmm? Is there a slug in that? I don't know why, I, I, I just get the carrots from the slugs. It's just a little slug. Just a little slug. Yeah. That is going in underneath. That is not little. I know, it's a giant Scottish slug. Is that why you were saying Scottish of the mall or something like that? Yeah.